let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Hey, uh, Martin, can you speak a little bit about the Caesar guy, number four, who is difficult to pin down just because he's in so many spots uh, in their setup? Slot, sometimes he's their wildcat quarterback, sometimes he's a running back. Talk about what he brings to the game and how you hope to defend him. Um, Caesar is a great player. Uh, he's a very shifty guy. He know how he knows how to run t with the ball and he knows how to score touchdowns. He's an all-around great player. As a defense, we come in with the mindset that when we get our hands on him, we have to tackle him to the ground. We can't have any missed tackles on him, and we can't if we're out in no open space. We have to make that big tackle to stop him. Um, like I said, he's a great athlete, and he's a big part of Villanova's uh, offensive scheme. And if we can come out and just get the, get those tackles and stop him in the backfield or make sure he doesn't reach the end zone, then I think we'll come out successful when it comes to stopping him. Is there any part of your preparation for this game that – and how big of a part maybe it is that's a little revenge for last year and wanting to set the record straight for them knocking you guys off last year? I wouldn't say it's more revenge. It's more of just – I would explain it as like a fire just burning from last year. Yes, we lost to them as the number one seed. And, yes, that fire is still there to come, here, come back and play against them and prove that we can go out and execute our game and come out with a win. Um, coming into this week, uh, see the players, everybody's more focused into the game plan, watching more film, looking at the game from last year, seeing whether some, the plays that were messed up or the plays that were they missed an assignment. And I would say it's, it's more of a focus within everybody. You can see it in the eyes. You can see it in practice yesterday. Everybody was out there executing what they had to do and making sure that when Saturday comes, those those steps that we, those bad steps that we made last year, those assignments that we missed last year are not going to be the ones that we, we mess up this year. This is one of the best, if not the best, rushing team that you that you've faced since you've been here. I would say this is one of the best rushing teams that we faced since I've been here. They have a great offensive line. They have a great quarterback that can run. They have a good running back that can run the ball, and it all comes down to uh, us as a defense being able to stop the, the running game. We've done it the past eight games that we've played, and if we come out Saturday doing the same thing and better, then we'll have a great great chance to stop in that rushing game that they have. Uh, Kevin, how is it? Is it easy to overstate the importance of having this game at home? I mean, you know, what does it mean to, to be able to play the last three opponents that you have here at home all been ranked, but you get them all here. The schedule kind of sets up pretty well for you guys. How, how much of a factor is playing here, especially for games like this? Um, I think it's definitely, anytime you can play a big game at home, it definitely gives you um, some sort of advantage. Um, I know this game being homecoming and, you know, we're undefeated right now, the number one ranking, you know, everyone in our community, you know, they're anxious and excited to come out and watch us play, but, um, you know, as a whole, in the locker room, we're not really worried about who's watching the game. We're just worried about playing the game. But definitely any time you can play in front of your home crowd, it makes the game even better. Can you guys both address <clears throat> what I asked Coach about, like the kind of the stress level, if there is a stress level of being number one and, you know, having all the expectations. I'm sure people on campus are, you know, patting you guys on the back and all that stuff. Just talk about the, the stress level that your achievement has brought. Um, I would say, honestly, um, there's really no stress on us, actually. Um, mainly, we, since we don't talk about the number one ranking, you know, we're not really, you know, been out of shape with it. So, I mean, I think it's more stress on the community rather than us. I mean, they talk about it more than we do. So, we don't get involved in any of the political stuff that goes on about having the number one ranking or, you know, AP polls, things like that. We just go out and execute football on Saturdays, um, and we don't think about anything else. You, we've had back-to-back uh, -back winning seasons. You, you go out there and play the game. Uh, you don't worry about the number one ranking, like Kevin said. You don't worry about any of that other stuff. You just worry about doing, uh, making your plays and knowing your assignments and just going out there and trying to win another football game. Kevin, you talked before the JMU game about how you thought that was probably your biggest rivalry. And I'm sure there was a lot of excitement before that game. But do you guys think that this week 
in the locker room there's more excitement, more you're more anxious to get out there this week maybe even than you were against JMU? Um, I definitely would say it's probably um, a little more excitement than the JMU game right now. Um, with Villanova being a top five team and us being number one, um, you know, this game has a lot of a lot of playoff implications on it. The conference, you know, winning the conference, this game is huge. Um, I think anytime you have two big teams going into a game over a weekend and it's in the conference, especially our conference, you know, it, it's a big game. And b it being late in the season, it's, it's definitely probably the biggest game of the year. Last year when you guys went up there, you were number one for the first time. That was your first week at number one when they beat you. Do you think there's kind of a, a difference in the way that you go into this game as opposed to last year where maybe you were thinking, oh, wow, we're number one, we got to win this game, as opposed to this year where you've been there for so long and it's kind of almost like it's an everyday thing rather than something new that you have to worry about? I mean, I would say that that's probably one thing that played into it last year. I mean, that was the first time we'd been ranked number one. You know, a lot of guys were excited about it. Um, I think we kind of lack the focus that we have um, this year, which is a big difference. Um, I think last year going up there, you know, we might have been a little too excited to be number one. But this year, after having the ranking for, seems like forever, you know, we really don't even worry about it. So, you know, rather than just being excited to be number one, we're excited to be going in this football game knowing that we're about to play in a, a big setting, you know, against a great team. But we're a great team also, so we're not even worried about rankings or anything like that. So our focus is, is keyed in on this matchup. Last year, for the last however many weeks in the regular season, you guys had to win to make the playoffs. This year, you're not in that same situation. Is there a different sense of maybe, or is there a different mindset about this team? I mean, last year was an urgency. This year, what is it? Um, I would still say it's an urgency um, in a different way. I mean, last year we had our backs against the wall, and it was either win or go home. Um, this year, I would say it's more of, you know, the goals that we set over the summer, you know, we really are focused on accomplishing those goals, and um, the conference is one of them. We know that we can't go into this game and just play around just because we're the number one team. We know that if we want to win the conference, we have to win this game, and we have to beat this team. So, I mean, that's all, that's all we're thinking about. Hey, Martin, over the years, Villanova's been probably as um, tricky a team as there has been. I wonder, I wonder if you uh, if you go into this game on alert for trick sort of plays. Um, you go on, as the week goes, the week of practice go by, you get down their basic plays and you know that there's going to be a handful of trick plays that's going to come out during the game. Um, on Saturday, all we have to know is just when we get down in our stances or when the linebackers and the DBs are in their stances, just know that there can be a possibility for those trick plays and each player knows what guy and where on the field where they're supposed to be the position. So when that trick play is come, if they're in that right position, then the trick play is just null and void.